How to use ChatGPT to make you a better developer. Hi, in this video I'm gonna talk about what is ChatGPT, how as a developer you can use it to improve and write better code, but also if we should be scared about it. So what is ChatGPT? ChatGPT is a state-of-the-art language model developed by OpenAI. It is capable of generating human-like text and can be used to create chatbots, language translation system and more. So how to use it. When you arrive on ChatGPT after logging, you can see some examples and the capabilities, but also some limitations of the system. So one thing to do to have better results on what you will ask him is to give it a prompt. So for this video, I will say act as a software developer. What it does is not just uh, acting as a software developer, but it also defines its role. So as a software developer, you will be responsible for designing, developing, testing and maintaining software applications and also a lot of details of what it is supposed to do. Just this paragraph will show you how ChatGPT is a smart. In addition to technical skills, it's important for software developers to keep up with the latest developments in their field as the technology landscape is constantly evolving. Even if I wanted to describe what a software developer is, I wouldn't describe it that good. So let's see what coding use cases we have using ChatGPT. The first one is technical question. You can ask it a lot of technical question and it will answer you with a lot of explanation and sometimes code example. So let's give it a try. What is a promise? In programming, a promise is an object that represents the result of a sudden chronic operation. It gives some key properties. They can be chained, how to use them with a resolve. Um, let's see if we can go deeper because it's a chat it's not just answering a question it remembers the question so i will say can you give some example code i just say give some example code but it remembers it's about promise so it's directly saying me yes and create a function returning a promise but also using this function but me i write async functions with modern JavaScript. So let's see if it can uh, generate those kind of functions. Can you show an example with async await? Okay, so here what is impressing is that it say certainly it rewrite the code it, it written before, so make API request, but using await and async function. So it exactly did what I asked. So for me, using ChatGPT is like going to Stack Overflow and all other resources you can find online. But what it does in addition to that is that it gives you explanation and synthesize it to answer your questions. So for every kind of developer from junior to senior developers, it can be useful. Also, what I wanted to see if it's opinionated. So let's ask it a tough question. Which is the best front-end framework? view or react look at this response and no it's not opinionated so there is no one best front-end framework it depends on a lot of factors it explains why and what view does so you could choose this one or react so you have the information to know which one you choose based on what you want to achieve that's exactly what it explains in the end it depends so you have to consider all the factors and you as a human, you as knowing your project, you will have to take your decision. Now let's have a look at how ChatGPT can fix your bugs. So let's ask it to correct my SQL query. So select everything from users will make a typo mistake where birth date is less than 2012. Here is the corrected version of your SQL query. It's writing it correctly. It's even telling me where my mistake were. So we have the where which was badly written, but also is less than that doesn't exist, but it understood what I was trying to achieve. So it wrote the good operator and a string because it will compare it to the first of 2012. So it's below it. 
So it's a yes for bug fixing. Now let's see if it can improve and optimize my code. So in my latest tutorial, I had this function to generate an NFT based on trades collection. And to make it unique, I created an item DNA. But let's see if we remove the uniqueness, if it's able to generate it. So it's item DNA, here it is. Here I was doing a recursion to regenerate an item if it's already unique. So let's remove it and we always return item. Okay, so now I will give it the function without context and we will see if it's clever enough to add the uniqueness. So can you improve my code? to prevent two items to be the same after calling generate item function. And I also give it the code. And let's see how it handles this. So here, what it did is if an item has already been generated, but here it's, here it's a bit wrong because it's if we already had this trait. But me, I'm okay. It's when an item has all those traits. So I will ask it again. Can you improve my code to prevent generate item to return two times completely identical items? Okay, and here it did exactly the same that I did. If we compare the code, so I put back my code and here is the generated from GPT. I also had an array here. So here to store the object, it's using a set. Me, I was using an array. What I did was generating a string with the rarity. And here what it does is that it stringify the item and save it to compare it exactly. So it's more secure than what I did. But me, I did something to warn about we are using a recursion and if there are not enough possibilities, it might crash because it will never find a new object to mint. Here it's not safe because it didn't. So it's a limit ChatGPT has. You still need to have the control because you can have unexpected behavior and it's not telling you. So for the moment, I'm still lucky because it's not able to replace me completely. I am sure you are already impressed by what ChatGPT can do, but let's see if it can go even further. So let's ask it to create a to-do list app. Create a to-do list app using React. Okay, so what it does is it explains all the steps from creating the folder on your terminal, um, installing the dependencies, creating the HTML. Well, it didn't choose like create React app or Vit, and it's creating the base component, but it's a hello world. It's not what I asked. I asked for a to-do list app. So can you write the code for the components of the to-do list? Okay, and here it really created all the React components. So the list, it's taking items in props and display them and you can edit if items are completed. But the logic to check and check isn't here. Add to do form, so it's a form and when you submit, it will add the item to the list and you have the mix of the two components which will work because the, the code is quite simple and it's easy to understand it will work. You can always go further asking it to handle on check event on the to-do list. So let's try it. Can you update the to-do list component to handle the completed state? So it generated me the updated component to-do list with a new prop on toggle completed. It's calling it on the on change from the input. It's very aware of what it did and what it is doing because it updated even the app component to make it work with on toggle completed. It even generated the method to update the whole to-do list. So it's very, very good.
but I was here as the operator knowing what I want to achieve. So it still requires a pilot. It won't create a full application with no one behind. You can even go further asking it to write the backend code in the framework of your choice. But we will stop for now about the technical aspect ChatGPT can cover. Now, final question, should we be scared of it? Short answer, I think no or not yet. It might replace junior developer tasks when they are training or onboarding with a new team, like building simple components or do some integration, but it still needs a supervisor. It can make mistakes and it won't write the full application. You need someone to assemble the puzzle, but you can use it as a very powerful personal assistant. You can be a junior developer and learn a lot from it. It will definitely speed up the process of learning and debugging when after looking on the whole internet, you can ask for a senior developer some help. Now you can give a try to chat GPT, it might answer to you. So globally, at this stage, I'm not scared. Maybe in the coming years, it will begin to be more and more developed and might be scary. But for now, I see it as a super assistant that can really help me on my job. It's a time saver, help me write better code so I can focus on the project. Maybe something that can be scary is the fact that we are going to be used to it. If for any reason, like it's being very expensive or its data are corrupted and it's not giving good answer anymore, it might be difficult in the future to get back to normal. We won't know how to work without it and maybe lose the velocity we acquired because of it. Will I use it? Of course, yes. Maybe not always for coding or I'm waiting for them to deploy a Visual Studio Code extension like GitHub Copilot. But if I'm struggled on a problem, maybe it can replace Stack Overflow. Even if I guess a lot of response it has come from Stack Overflow. I will also use it for content creation. It won't replace me, but it will speed up my process, giving me ideas and using it as a starting point for content creation. Oh, by the way, the intro comes from ChatGPT. Did you notice that? Did I sound robotic and not natural or did it sound smooth and you didn't notice it at all? Please tell me in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope, like me, you think ChatGPT can be a very good tool for developers and it's not a competitor against developer. It will globally help all the developers become better and write faster and better code. If you liked the video, please add a thumb up as it really helps the channel gain visibility. If it's not already the case, hit the subscribe button to be notified when new videos are released. Thanks again, bye bye.